Hello friends, welcome to the new session of Oracle Tutorials for Beginners. In today's session, we are going to see one important Oracle function, Trim. In Oracle, there are three types of Trim functions are there. Trim, L Trim and R Trim. But in this session, we are going to see only about Trim function. Let's see. The Oracle Trim function is used to remove the leading or trailing characters or both from a given string. So when we want to remove the leading or trailing characters, then we can use Trim function. Either it may be a character or empty space. We can use Trim function. Leading character indicates the left side which means the beginning part of the given string trailing indicates the end of the given source string let's we will see the syntax of trim function trim function have for our convenient i have given three different syntaxes so when we want to remove the leading or trailing spaces then we can give our source string in between the trim function. Next, the second syntax indicate when we want to remove any special character, then we can give any special character or it may be a number, then we can use the second syntax. In between the trim function, we can give the remove trim character from keyword x must we have to specify then your source string. So say for example, trim of 0 from 0, 1, 2, 3. Next, the third syntax indicate trim fun function with leading, trailing or both keywords. So other two example we see, we have seen only based on the removal of a space and removal of any special or any specific character from the given sourcing. But the third syntax indicate removal removal of special character or any specific character with specific keyword if we specific lead if we specify leading then it will remove from the beginning of the character if we specify trailing then it will consider the end of the given string if we specify both it will consider the both beginning and end of the given string let's uh, we will see some important cases in trim function when only the source string is specified then oracle removes leading and trailing spaces this point indicates the syntax one when we specify only the source string it will remove the leading and trailing both beginning and end empty spaces from the given source string next if either source string or trim character is null then obviously oracle trim function will return the null function then then one thing you have to make sure your source string or your trim character should not be null trim character argument must have only one character when you want to trim any character you have to specify only one character so if you specify any two character then obviously oracle will throw error except zero either we can give zero or double zero triple zero up to a number of zero but when you give any other number like one two three you have to give only one character when you give any character or string any any character you have to specify the particular trim character in between the single quotes when you want to trim any number then you have to directly give number no need single quotes but character always need single quotes Next, we will see some uh, example for trim function. Then you will get uh, some clear idea about Oracle trim function. We will see various cases of example in trim function. Let's move on to SQL developer. First, we will see some example for trim function with only the source string. So we already seen the case one. When we give 
only the source string in between the trim function it always remove the spaces from the both source both beginning and end of the given string in my first query we have some spaces in the beginning part of our beginning part of our source string so when we execute this statement it will trim the space empty space from the beginning part of our given string so when i execute uh, this statement we will get the output without any space from the beginning of our which means leading of our given string so in the second example we have some empty space in the end of our given source string which means this is trailing part so when i execute this statement we will get the output without any space in the end of our given string so the third syntax indicate we have some space in the beginning as well as the end of our given string which means we have some space in the leading and trailing part so simply when i execute this statement oracle will remove the space from the both places next uh, we will see some example for removing any specific specific character from the given source string so when we want to remove any specific character we have to specify the from keyword after the trim character first example i have given 000123 is my input string from that input string i want to trim the character 0 so when we execute this statement we will get the output without the zero in the second example i want to trim the character one here i have not specified any both or leading or trailing keywords so when i execute the statement oracle always consider the both places which means the leading place and trailing place so when we specify our trim character without any leading or trailing or both keyword oracle will trim the character from the both places in the third example i want to trim the character e from the given x given source string here i have given the single quotes which means this is character for number we no need to specify the single quotes but when we want to trim any character we have to specify the single quotes so when i execute this statement we will get xavs output because we want to trim the character e so here we are we have got the output as xavi next uh, we will see oracle trim with leading trailing both keywords in our previous example we have seen only the trim character from keyword and with our source string but here we have given the leading keyword we as i mentioned earlier earlier leading keyword indicate the beginning part of our beginning part of our given string trailing indicate the end of our given string both indicate both leading and trailing places in the first example i want to remove the number 0 from the leading place so when i execute this statement oracle will remove all the zero from leading part of our source string so when we execute this statement we will get 1 2 3 as output here i have given trailing part so when i execute this statement oracle remove the zero from the end of our given string which means the trailing part so when i execute this statement with both keyword oracle remove zero from both beginning and end of our for evening given input so we will get output as 1 2 3 that's all leading indicate the starting position trailing indicate the end of our string both indicate both leading and trailing places the post three set of examples we have seen the example as per the syntax order now we have we we need to see some example based on our cases we will see this two example based on the case two so when our trim character or our input character is null all oracle will always return the null values we have already seen this case two so when our trim character 
or our input string or our source string is null, Oracle will always return the null values. So when I execute this statement, obviously we will get null as output. So when I execute this second statement with source string as null, obviously we will get the null value. Next, we will see some example for case 3. What is case 3? If the trim character have more than one character except 0, Oracle will always throw the exception. See here the first example, we want to remove the 0 from the given string. So when we execute this statement, we will get obviously 1, 2, 3. Here we have specified the only, only one character. So in the second syntax also indicate we want to remove the x from the given string. Here we have specified only one string. But in the third syntax, I have given three zeros. I mentioned earlier, we can give n number of zeros. The third case indicate we have to specify the only one character, except zero. Zero, we can specify number of zeros. When we execute this statement, obviously we will get result. But instead of these zeros, if we specify any character, more than once, obviously we will get error. So trim set should not have, should have only one character. When I execute this last statement also, we will get the same error. So the final case, one thing we have to keep that in your in our mind, the trim character will always be one character, except zero. That's all uh, dear friends about the uh, trim function. We have seen various examples with various cases. I hope you all understood the uh, trim function very clearly. In the upcoming videos, we will see the L trim and R trim function. Thanks for watching. Subscribe my page for regular updates.